Hello and welcome back. It's day nine of my growing cantaloupe from seed series. The cotyledons are getting bigger. The first true leaves are appearing as I'll show you later on. Potting mix upheaval caused by wet congealed plates of potting mix uh, shifting around due to all the rising and expanding of all this plant matter has left some seedlings out. That one I just showed you has a root sticking out of the other side. It's going to dry up. It's already facing stunted growth and is very unlikely to recover. So that was our first casualty. As expected, I haven't counted all of these seedlings. There might be well over a hundred, you know, maybe even 150. Who knows, maybe it was uh, 200, maybe not that much. But as you can see here, you can sort of make out the beginnings of the first true leaves coming out. At first it looks like there's just one, although I'm sure it'll be followed by another quickly. And it's day 11. I've applied several coats of wood stain to my table and it looks a lot better now. So there's the optical illusion that there are far fewer seedlings now because the cotyledons are so big. I spun the pot around so everything wouldn't just grow in one direction and favor uh, the seedlings that were facing one side. So you can see noticeable first true leaves. You can see those uh, folded leaves coming out. And they're coming along a little slower than I expected due to the rapid continued cotyledon growth. There's the optical illusion going on. It looks like there are only 50 seedlings instead of 150. So this would be the original orientation of the pot with everything favoring one side. It makes sense facing uh, west basically because that's where the sun is in the afternoon. This place doesn't get any morning sun. So I'm watering a little bit, uh, not too much because as I said earlier, there's a lot of water in the watering tray which signifies that the potting mix has been soaked from top to bottom previously and just a little bit will do. I want to keep the top wet because that's where the roots are and they're not very deep yet so if I don't do this every few days then a lot of seedlings will just die and then we're gonna zoom in afterwards and show you uh, places where it appears that uh, pinching off has occurred. Now there's a term where you use your fingernails or whatever to pinch off the top and prune. That's not what I'm talking about. So I think it's caused by roots losing contact with potting mix and drying out. Due to the simultaneous growth of so many seedlings at once and all that increase in volume, stems and roots and whatnot, you have an upheaval of plates of congealed potting mix and that exposes lots of roots in these two main areas that I'm pointing out and all the seedlings will die whereas that's a boon for all the other seedlings that are healthy and have their roots firmly entrenched in the ground check out my Facebook page uh, thanks for watching this update